So there's a popular quote that has floated around workplaces for decades. It's, culture eats strategy for breakfast. So what it's saying is, is that it doesn't make a difference on how amazing your corporate strategic plan is. It's the culture of your company that's going to influence and drive its success. You know, and a, a lot of companies know that there's some truth to this because we invest all sorts of resources in engaging in baseball games and happy hours, workshops, seminars. We do company-wide chili cook-offs. I know that there's some managers that put together some pretty adventurous team-building initiatives. Anybody out here like me and participate in a high ropes course or something like that? A few of you? The rest of you just know better what you're telling me? I got it. I got it. Well, if you've never done anything like this before, there are multiple, multiple opportunities to jump in a harness, climb up something, push yourself immediately outside your comfort zone, and then we just hope for the best, right? So, you know, looking at these photos, you actually might think I like this sort of thing. And I do, I guess, I, I look oddly comfortable up there, but the reality is I don't like heights, or harnesses for that matter, but there I was, strapped up somehow, swinging from something, all to build this opportunity for team building and engagement. Now, there is nothing wrong with any of these initiatives and what we do. I mean, they're entertaining, people are getting together, we're having fun, a lot of them are educational. But research has shown is that even the most engaging, day-long events, teams and cultures rarely experience long-term transformation and more often than not, they go right back to where they were to begin with. Because what we see is there's really actually, there's, there's this disconnect between these events that we participate in and really what we're helping to build in our culture through, that reflect our, our core values, our ethics, and our vision statements. So I would ask, what if we could build our culture in a different way? And really, when we started this initiative, we, we weren't exactly sure how this is all going to play out, but it has made a significant difference in our culture. Now, our company, our company has a strong history of charitable corporate giving and volunteer work. In fact, two of our core values are compassion and generosity. So a team of us, we were, were brainstorming ideas on how we could get those two values deeper into our culture. When our CEO comes in, he's just thinking out loud, he says to us, he says, what if... What if we could send our teams out and volunteer with some of the organizations that we, that we represent and that we sponsor? You know, not for like a few hours like what we've been doing, but maybe for a few days, maybe even for a week, so they can really dive in, see the needs for themselves, and help. True story, he looks at us and he says, what if, what if we just get out there and do some good and just see what happens? Now, that might not be an uncommon idea coming from the CEO of a nonprofit or more of a community-focused organization, but we are, we are a 50-year-old, for-profit, multi-million dollar company that manufactures, services, and stalls elevators. <laughs> Vertical transportation, passenger and freight elevators. We have about 300 employees that are mechanics, engineers, project managers, sales teams, office, office teams, and we have a whole manufacturing plant full of workers. So maybe, maybe not the typical setting for this kind of initiative. But if you've never been on this type of service trip before, here's where he was going with this. Now, what we had been doing with our charitable giving was just fine. It, it was a great, actually. We'd have our list of charitable organizations like most companies do, and we would uh, send them out funding, maybe volunteer occasionally, and they would send us back updates telling us what they did with the money and all the people that they helped. And that's great. Let's not stop doing that. But what he was suggesting is what if, what if we could just send our teams out and go volunteer with these organizations? So, for example, if a flood came through an area, it would be our team that shows up to help that family who just had eight feet of sewer water come up their basement, and then we could help them mop or carry out their soaking wet furniture or maybe cut out the drywall that's covered in mold and just stand with that family and help them clean up their space. 
And then that team could come back to our company and give us their own update and tell us the whole story of everything that they saw and everything that they did. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, that's what we've been doing. This picture and those photos were from last year when a, when a flood came through the Detroit area and we showed up to help. Fast forward until now, we've had 13 company-sponsored service trips. We'd have 71 participants. And what started as us just out doing some good has evolved into be a, a core part of our culture. And I have to say, it has not been at the sacrifice of our production or our output. Our last few years have been just as successful. So what are these service trips? What do they look like? Well, we partner with a few different organizations. We usually send out six people on a team, and we've extended the invitation out company-wide. So if somebody is interested in participating, they're given the opportunity. We're usually gone for about six days. Uh, there's a travel day on either end and uh, four core working days in the middle. Our employees are paid whatever their normal weekly salary is, and they do not have to take vacation. So right about now, I see some of you in the audience. They usually look at me a little puzzled and just ask, your company pays for this? So let's get that question out of the way first, the cost. Yes, our company covers all the expenses for this trip. The follow-up question is, well, isn't that expensive? Well, it depends, right? I mean, if you're currently spending nothing on building your company culture, well, this option is more than zero. But, you know, the flights, the rental car, the lodging, those are the primary expenses, just like any other business trip. But I will say this, the investment that we've made in our employees and our teams in this way is undeniably worth it. And here's why. Now, I shared with you, our big picture goal is just let's get out there and do some good. Here's a little bit of what we've been up to. Now, these photos, these are from the very first trip that we went on. And when we showed up, we got to learn a little bit about this family. Several years ago, this family had a house fire. Their home burned completely to the ground. Fast forward five years from there, a catastrophic flood came through the area that they moved to and washed their house away. This family has lost everything that they own twice. And so we actually felt really fortunate to show up and be able to help them rebuild their house. So this week, we got to do some foundation work, do some insulation, some wiring, windows, landscaping, and a ton, a ton of siding. Now, I did not know how to do any of that before I went, but, but when I got back, I was feeling like a pro. If any of you need any home improvement help, see me later. <laughs> now this week, these, each of these three homes had somebody living in their house that had mobility issues. It was extremely difficult, if not impossible, for them to, for them to leave their houses. Now, the gen this is so great. The general contractor that we're overseeing this project, his plan was to build one ramp maybe start a second one by the end of the week. The team that worked on these houses finished all three of these structures in four days. They put the plan together, dug the post holes, cut the wood for the decking, the framing, and the rails, and put the whole thing together. Now, I'm not saying this to brag, but it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Now, I would say, though, what if we change the framework of looking at this trip from just us out doing some good and we look at it through the lens of a professional development exercise or a team building event that's really helping to grow and change our culture? So this trip, we had an engineer, two project managers, a sales rep, and two fabricators from our shop. They had to start these projects, figure out who was going to do what, and see them through the com uh, to completion. This whole week is an exercise in group dynamics, communication, goal setting, time management, um, learning new things, servant leadership. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And then, of course, we can talk about the team building. I have a valuation after valuation from our participants that come back from these trips say that the best part about these trips are their new friends, which I think is actually completely ironic because a lot of these guys have worked for a company for years. <laughs> but, now, there's the fun, the, the fun team building that happens and the fun interactions, the joking around, the camaraderie. I had one guy call me after he gets back, and he says, Corlin, my stomach is so sore. And I'm thinking, 
did you eat something? Like, what's going on? No, 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 no. I have never laughed this hard in my entire life. Guys, his, his stomach was sore from laughing so hard. It was amazing. But there are real, meaningful, and deep connections that happen on these trips. And I truly believe that our employees would not have had these interactions had they not been on their specific trip together and given time and enough margin to be able to develop their conversations and their interactions past our normal day-to-day -day workplace chat, right? And it is, and it's important. Guys, if we're going to build uh, high-performance teams that collaborate and need to interact with each other, there, there's a level of trust and of confidence that needs to be there, and it takes time to develop, and it can't be forced. These service trips help initiate that. So I was, I was driving a team back. We had just recently toured a drug and alcohol treatment facility, and we're in the car, and we're just talking, all of us, about how what we just learned and everything that we saw. When my coworker in the back, he speaks up and he shares a little of the story, and he tells us that he actually lost a brother to a drug overdose when he was younger. Whew. Well, my other coworker sitting next to him just leans over and calmly says, and he looks at him and he says, huh, you too. Wow. And I'm watching this whole conversation happen in my rearview mirror. And the whole way back to our office, the two of them just talked and shared their own stories about what it meant to lose a brother in this extremely tragic way, how much it impacted them and their families and how they've moved on from that. Both of them have since told me that they have met one, maybe two other people in their entire life that have, that have shared the same tragic experience. Those guys, they've worked for, worked for our office, uh, worked for a company for several years and did not know that until that, until that car ride. And so, so where are we now? We have had measurable changes in behavior that indicate as a company, as a culture, we are growing more compassionate and generous. Our teams are out there, they're getting hands-on, they're experiencing these things, and it's producing action. Last year alone, we logged 3,300 hours of volunteer time between what we do in-house and what our employees engage outside of work. Uh, another metric. Our company offers a, a matching funds program where we match charitable donations that our employees make. I've watched our participation rate grow from 25% when we started to 48% last year. Now that's great, but what's even better is that 84% of our teammates that are on our service trips participate in that program. We are, we, our, value, our, our value statements and where we're going with this program is being realized, it's exciting. Now, last year we had one of our, our newer employees who works out in our plant. He applied to go on our trip and he tells me, he's like, oh, I really want to go on this trip, but I, I, don't, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going to happen. I decided I was just going to put my head down and I'm just going to show up and work hard and help. That was his goal. This is what he said when he got back from his trip. This is what he wrote in his evaluation. He said, the bonding that happens between you, the people you work with, the family you work to help, and the folks involved in this organization is something special. I left this trip feeling like my heart has increased in size. This trip gives you a unique opportunity to do some good and learn more about yourself at the same time. I am not a psychologist, but the positive impact and change that I've seen in our teammates coming back from these service trips, it's absolutely transformational. Now I've said, our core values, they're compassion and generosity. Yours might be leadership, integrity, empowerment, innovation, maybe diversity and inclusion. What if, what if your cultures were truly defined by your, your core values or your vision statements? Not by just what we can read on the About Us section on your website, but what we can see in the actions and the character of your culture. How would that change your workplace? When we consider all of the different culture building events and initiatives we can part participate in, this is why these service trips work so well. Through this initiative, we are building a compassionate and generous company culture because our employees and our teams are being fully immersed in a compassionate and generous experience. These are not just 
dip your toe in the water events. These are first day of summer, the pool's finally open, last one in the rotten egg, all out cannonballs, right? Our employees are given this invitation to feel and experience and engage with our values that are hands-on. And that is what we need to produce real and sustainable change. You know, I've said and we've said that compassion and generosity are important to us as a company, but it was not until we took this step and invested in our teams in this extraordinary way that our values are becoming alive for our employees. So I challenge you, if you're sitting here and your culture statements and your core values are just sitting there, words on a page or on a website, and they need to be woken up, grab your teams, jump in. And in the words of a very wise individual, let's get out there and do some good, and let's see what happens. Thank you. Thank you.